Okay. What was your reaction when uh, Ernie Johnson slipped up and let out that you guys were the one seed, a one seed? Well, I mean, I honestly, the volume wasn't up high enough for me to hear it, so it wasn't spoiled enough for me. But then uh, I think it was JP. He leaned back to me and said, did he just say first ever one seed? And I'm like, I don't know. And then Coach Matt came back and was like, did he just say that? And so, like, that's how I found out. But, um, I mean, the reaction, I mean, it was kind of – it was a good feeling. I mean, just to be, you know, first in school history to be able to do so. Um, it just credits to our hard work that we've been putting in all, work, all year. For uh, Trey or Sean, because you guys were, were there, um, obviously we see all the time the NCAA tournament's about matchups. It's about, you know, two years ago you were a number two seed and you had the loss to Wisconsin. Um, that game tends to come up a lot. You know, we, we hear about that game even two years later. How much is it, does it resonate for you and um, now that you've, you've got a high seed again and, and here you are back in the NCAA tournament? Yeah, I don't. I don't know how much it resonates. Uh, I don't know if that that be the word I use. I know it's uh, something that we've talked about and we've learned from over the past two years. Uh, the experiences from that game, uh, being you know we got what four guys with Kaiser that were a part of that team. Um, so we know kind of what it took throughout the season to get to that point and kind of what happened for us at the end there. Um, but I don't think that this team really uh, mirrors that team in any way. I think we're completely different. We've really separated ourselves as far as our regular season accomplishments go. And uh, we're looking to continue that in the postseason. Trey, do you feel like this team is kind of a, a sum of its experiences over maybe your and Sean's tenure, just in the sense that, you know, you came face to face with uh, kind of the mortality and the, the swift mortality of the tournament in that Wisconsin game. And then last year you had the great run and almost got to where you wanted to get to. Um, do you feel like this team is a, a sum of all that stuff? Uh, I do. I mean, when you have guys like you said, me and Sean, and then you know JP and Kaiser was a part of those teams. So when you have us that go through that, it kind of makes you know March more meaningful for us. You know, uh, we didn't want to just like we are now. You know, we were we were doing just fine two years ago, and then it was short for us. So uh, that kind of hurt us, and that was kind of our like motivating factor. You know, we wanted to get back and attack and to finish. And uh, last year, we were just one step away from the Final Four. So, I mean, just all the, all the experiences that went into it just motivates us more. And, you know, the freshmen that come in, uh, they do a good job of listening. And, uh, you know, it's been really beneficial for us. This is for any of you guys. Did you guys watch the Big East Championship on Saturday on TV? Um, I mean, we looked at the score at the end. That's about it. I didn't, get, I didn't watch it. Did you guys watch it? Oh, he looked at the score. No, I didn't watch it. Did you watch it? What, um, what can you guys do differently in taking lessons from just, you know, the, the exit there and the tight game and everything that happened in New York as you move forward to this next stage of the season? Uh, we had to learn from our mistakes. You know, we had a big lead uh, going in the second half. You know, we're an old team, an experienced team. We just had to, um, you know, not, not let them get in the run. And uh, we had to take it one game at a time. Sean, uh, being a senior and all, this is your last go around. H how has this kind of last stand mentality impacted the way you've approached basketball this year? Um, I mean, you're definitely, every year I think you have more of a drive to get to the goals that you want, especially because you know time is fleeting as far as the college experience goes. Um, I think this year more than anything is set in for us. Uh, and by us, I mean our, uh, all of our seniors here. But uh, you know, I, I think that we still know that we have more basketball to play. We have at least one more game, and, uh, you know, ideally we want to play six more. So it's just kind of we're, we're just ready to take it one step at a time, one night at a time. Karim, you've come from the relative obscurity of the Horizon League to a point in NCAA tournament basketball where it literally does not get bigger than this. You guys are a one seed. To go from where you were... I guess a year ago today to today. How how do you put that into words? What is that? How, how have you experienced that? Uh, I'm really excited for the opportunity. You know, this was one of the big reasons why I came to Xavier to be able to play in the postseason. Uh, being a one one seed is great. It's, uh, first time in Xavier history, so it's new for all of us. And as a senior, you know, we want to play as more as much basketball as we can. 
For uh, any of you guys, you played in one of the toughest leagues, if not the toughest league in the country. You played one of the toughest schedules in the country. You also had a lot of success in a lot of close, tight games. How do you how do you view your your how prepared you are for the NCAA tournament because of the experiences you had this season? Um, I mean, like, like you said, we've had a lot of close games this year. Uh, we've had a lot of uh, really kind of brutal games as far as, you know, goes one way or the other at the end of the game. Uh, you know, the Creighton game in particular stands out. Providence uh, at the Big East tournament stands out. So we've kind of had it go uh, both ways at this point. And uh, I think that we've learned from the losses we have have had. I think that uh, those losses alone have also driven us to uh, bounce back even stronger the next time and really uh, – I think at this point we know you know it's it's over if we lose one. So it's uh, you know we're going to be even more focused on uh, whatever little detail it is that game that's going to get us to that point because that's all basketball is at this level and especially in the tournament it's you know minor details it's one or two possessions that separate a team. Trayvon, ba back to the senior thing. Uh, given you've been together with these not Karam excluded but the other guys for four years, how, how much have you played for your teammates? this year, given this is your last go-round, uh, than you might have in previous years? Um, I mean, from the, the moment we started, uh, practice was the first time I played for my teammates. Uh, you know, me, JP, and Sean, we've been through everything together four years, the highs, the lows. So, um, you know, and, you know, we came in six deep, and now it's, you know, it's, it's three of us. So I feel like that makes us closer in a way. And... Like you said, this being my last go round, mm -hmm. you just want to take advantage of that. And so, uh, you know, every minute, every time we practice, you know, it's, all, it's always playing for them. Um, you know, I sacrifice. Uh, I give blood, sweat, and tears for them just because I want what they want just as bad as them. So, uh, you know, I've been playing for them ever since the start of the year. Sean, you guys are the one seed in the West. You see the two seed in the south but you'll start at the same site in nashville what are your thoughts on that and knowing that probably for both teams you're gonna have a contingent of crowd of the crowd rooting against you know you'll have uc fans rooting against you as much as you know they'll have xavier fans rooting against them what are your thoughts on kind of having that atmosphere i didn't even realize that when, uh, until just now but uh no it's uh honestly i think we got a lot of experience with it uh in the big east tournament um, I just remember that as that game was starting to go a little south for us in the second half and they were fighting back, the place just felt like it kept getting louder and louder because as you heard, you know, Villanova fans started cheering, uh, everybody on the other side of the bracket, uh, Butler fans started cheering against us. And I'm, uh, so we kind of see that experience um, and it kind of uh, brings me a little bit back to Gonzaga last year uh, playing out west against them. So uh, we're obviously, we've been through a, a couple of adverse environments, but uh, I don't think in the end it really matters as long as we take care of our own business. Sean, what is it like to go through four years of your, of your life with two other guys that you probably see more than your family? <laughs> what, what has that whole experience been like and, and what has it meant to you? Yeah, it's, it's different. Um, you know, I, we, all, we all played AAU growing up, uh, so we know what it's like to be around guys on the weekends. Um, but then, you know, Monday hits and I got class with them and practice the next day, you know. It's you, know, you go back to the dorm, you're living with them. So it's uh, it's been a really cool experience, and you've also gotten to know some guys. Uh, I've lived with JP for three years now, so I've gotten to know him. I survived. Yeah, I'm uh, I'm excited to finally have my own place, maybe without him. <laughs> but uh, now he's it's it's been uh, it's been a really cool experience getting to know these guys. Uh, you know, like like Trey said, we've gone through so much being uh, a class of six coming in, and now being only three, we fought through a lot of stuff. Uh, We've had a lot of high and low experiences. We've had a lot of uh, history here at Xavier, and uh, we're hoping to make some more. Trey, how was uh, Chris's new place? Oh, his house? Yeah. Oh, it's fantastic. <laughs> yeah, it's fantastic. I mean, I haven't seen a house like that in Cincy, let me say, um, ever. <laughs> but, uh, you know, I, I like it. Got a pool, um, pool table as well, uh, big lounge. The basement is pretty much like the living room. Um, it's, it's, it's a sight to see, I'd say. Nice man cave. Yeah, yeah, straight man cave. You could tell, like, he just goes. I could tell, I can imagine him, you know, after games that we have bad games or something like that, just going in there, shutting the door, don't want to talk to none of the kids or any of the wives, and um, you know, just watching film and just writing down what he's going to yell at us tomorrow. <laughs> uh, seriously, um, 
the facing um, the winner of a playing game is, uh, I, th I think, a little bit of a different experience for you guys, preparation-wise. How will you, uh, how will you handle that? Will you watch that game? Um, I mean, I think we'll watch the game, but uh, you know, going forward, we just we're focused on ourselves. Um, you know, just trying to get better. It's just as if we had the whole week off and we played a team on that next Monday. We just we focus on working on ourselves, um, you know, sharpening up what we couldn't get done down in New York. Anything else? Did any of you guys know anything about NC Central or Texas Southern? Have you paid any attention to them? I know you're busy, so you may not have, but. No, I think coaches are really uh, cutting up film. I, I was actually just upstairs with some of our managers and uh, other guys, our film guys, coordinators. Uh, they were